Hello, this is Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman from the Jewish Executive Learning Network. This video, I'd like to share with you a quick idea in this week's Torah portion, a quick Devar Torah, a Torah thought in this week's Parsha. It's a, an insight I'm going to share with you from my Torah commentary called Short and Sweet on the Parsha. Uh, we're in the book of Deuteronomy, the book of Devarim, at the very, very end of the Chumash of the five books. We're towards the end. The Torah portion is called Hazinu which is from the word oizen, which means to listen, to hear. Let me share with you a verse. It's verse 32, chapter 32, verse 4, 32, 4. The verse says in English, the rock, and the rock is capital R, meaning Hashem, God. The rock, perfect is his work, for all his paths are justice, a God of faith, without iniquity, righteous and fair is he. What is the point of the Pasuk? The basic sense of that verse is that Hashem never makes a mistake. God always knows what he's doing. As the verse said, God is perfect in his work. All of his paths are justice. Not just some, but all of them, the verse says. A God of faith, without iniquity, righteous and fair is he. What do I want to say from this? Just a short version, okay? Short and sweet. That's what we're here for. We go through a lot of things in life, my friends. We go through many things in life, problems, pressures, stresses, financial, familial, where we struggle to get married, then we struggle to stay married. If we're able to stay married and we have kids, we struggle to raise those kids. It's a struggle when we have a lot of money. It's a struggle when we don't have money. It's We struggle with things when we're healthy. We struggle when we're, God forbid, unhealthy. We always have problems. And a lot of times we look at our lives and we see the facts, what looks like the facts around us. And a person might become very upset or bitter with God. You might say, why aren't you helping me? Why aren't you taking care of me? Don't you know what you're doing? The Torah Hashkafa, the Torah outlook is very clear that God never makes a mistake. He always knows what he is doing. And it is always for our benefit, whether we recognize it or not. Sometimes, oftentimes, but not always, we're able to be privileged that God will peel back the curtain, so to speak, and we're able to have a sense as to what he was doing with us and for us. And we have an aha moment. We go, oh, that's why that happened. That's why I was there. That's why I was meant to endure that. Sometimes that happens. But oftentimes in life, we do not. Oftentimes in life, we don't. It can happen that a person can go through a terrible situation. God forbid we should be spared from it. And then you live 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 more years, whoever knows how many. And until your neshama, your soul leaves this world and goes up to Shemayim, to heaven, you're not going to find out until then what God wanted. So our avoid, our job is number one, to have emunah. Emunah is in, basically in Hebrew means the concept that God runs the world and he knows what he's doing and can do whatever he wants at whatever time he wants. That God is running the world. There's a similar word that people don't know as much, or what the distinction is called, bitachon. Bitachon means trust. Emuna always goes with bitachon. Bitachon basically means that we trust that God knows what he's doing in our life. So emuna is sort of sort of in a, in a macro sense that God is running the world and knows what he's doing, does what he wants, and can do whatever he wants at any time. And bitachon is how it applies to us. Emuna is for the world, bitachon is specifically to us. So that's the concept. But that being said, we definitely want to know as much as we can, hey God, we know you're perfect in your works, as I said in this week's Parsha, and all your paths are justice, and you're a God of faith, and no iniquity, you're righteous and fair, we would love to be able to see what Hashem is doing, so to speak, and to understand it. That's always our. That's always something that we hope for. I'll give you two quick examples. In the Shemona Esrei prayer, we say several times a day, we praise Hashem, we say, Hashem, God is Gomel Chasadim Toivim. And I speak about this in short and sweet on the parsha. Gomel Chasadim Toivim means that God bestows beneficial kindness. He's Gomel Chasadim, Chasadim, kindness, Toivim, good kindness. So some of the commentaries say, isn't that a little bit redundant? If God is Gomel Chasadim Toivim, he's bestowing Chasadim, kindnesses that are Toivim, but isn't that superfluous? If it's a kindness, isn't it good? If it's a kindness, isn't it good? And the commentaries say no. Sometimes God does things that from his perspective is a kindness for us, for our benefit, but we don't experience it as good. 
So we're hoping for Gomel Chasadim Toivim, God's kindnesses that are what we would call revealed good that we can see and experience as being for our benefit. That's an important idea. One more thing. We just have passed the holiday of Rosh Hashanah when we have the minhag, the custom to dip some apple in the honey. And there's a Hiratzon prayer. We ask God that he should make it a Shana Toiva Umesuka, a Shana Tova, a good year Umesuka, a good and sweet year. So similar idea, the commentaries say, isn't that redundant? A good and sweet year? If it's a good year, won't it be sweet? And the Lev Simcha of Ger, the Ger Rebbe, and other commentaries say all the same idea. The answer is no. Shana Tova, it means Tov, means it's good from God's perspective. He knows what it's do, what he's doing and something's for our benefit. But it could hurt a lot and we don't want that. So we ask God, make it a Shana Tova, Umesuka, a good year from your perspective. Umesuka, a sweet year from our perspective. We should experience what you do in this world as sweet. So that is our prayer. That's what we want. And even if the facts of life, what we're going through may not seem like it, we have to know as solid people that... That, that Hashem really knows what he's doing. We have to have a moon night even when the facts don't look like it. But still we pray, God, we know you're righteous. We know you're fair. We read Parsha Sazinu. We know this verse, but let us please experience it as such. I hope this Torah thought was helpful to you. Please share it with others if it was. This is Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network. We'll see you next time for your short and sweet of our Torah on the Parsha. Bye.